Hello YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of Playing With Lego. Today we have two special guests. We have Big T and Little Buskis. Big T and Little Buskis. Today we will be reviewing a Lego Scooby-Doo set. This is the Mystery Machine. It's set number 75902 and it has 301 pieces. So here we go, enjoy. Actually, I got the thing right without looking. Good job, me. Yay! A tree sticker? And instructions. And we'll push from the back. And we'll read it. First up, we have... Scooby-Doo! Scooby-Doo! This is a cool-looking Scooby-Doo. He has his front paw up. And he just looks kind of confused. We have his dog tag here that says... SD for Scooby-Doo and it's a nice looking It's not a minifigure. It's a, a dog nice looking dog and When you turn Scooby's face around he has a funny looking smirk there The first minifigure we have is Shaggy. Shaggy this is a cool looking Shaggy. He's holding a map of the daily babbler that says tree comes to life We'll show that later. He has a nice lime green torso dark red pants, and cool hair. Shaggy has an alternate face where he's kind of frowning. And this is how Shaggy looks from behind, just a couple of creases in his shirt. And here we have Fred. Fred, this is a nice looking minifigure as well. He has that orange scarf, white torso, and yellowish blonde hair, plus um, holding a magnifying glass. Fred has an alternate face where he looks scared. And lastly we have a... Zombie! A zombie! This looks very creepy. He has a different kind of green there. It's not lime green. It's kind of like a, a sandish kind of green. But not quite sand green. Maybe... I'm not even sure what kind of green that is. Pastel-y sand green. But he has like a red eyes there. And different tones of his shirt as well. Has um... Like a greenish... What is that? Olive? Olive green and then a sand green. Different tones of green. And on the back of his head we have some buttons to show that it's not really a zombie, it's just a mask. So here's the main build and this is the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Where are you? Where are you? So this is a side view. We have all the medium azure pieces here. Did you know this is medium azure? Medium Azure as opposed to Deep Azure. As opposed to Dark Azure. Or Light Azure. And then we got the Scooby-Doo colors, the lime green. I like the combo. The nice very flowers. Retro. So I believe these are all printed pieces. That's that's a printed piece. The hubcaps are printed pieces. That's cool. So you got a little uh, disc here with the flower, the orange flower. The same color as my scrubs. And here is a side view. And when you can open up the top you can see the inside a bit better so this is where the drivers will and oh look cool there's like a little window there that yep. you can see and then the back actually opens up like it has that its control center control center with all its memos and paperwork on the side those are all stickers though oh are you getting really good at stickering i've always been good at stickers hmm. i use this Mm. But um, back to the inside, we have a nice little sandwich here, or is that a Scooby snack? It's a Scooby sandwich. Just looking at it makes me hungry already. Mm. What do you think it could be? Yellow I think it's cheese, tomatoes, cheese, tomato. Pickle? Sure. We have alert here, where it says alert, yes. danger. Those are all stickers? That's a sticker. There's a little magnifying glass. And an area like that looks like a sink, right? Where you can wash your hands after doing your investigative work. Yeah, flashlight, camera. That's cute, I love the flashlight. So. And a sonar device. And can then we can close it up. The newspaper, the one that says Daily Babbler, Tree Comes to Life, is that a sticker? This right here, this is not a sticker, it oh, is a tile, a printed I love tile. It already. It's my favorite. And there says a tree, and we'll show what the tr what that tree is very soon. But I like the fact that it opens because I wasn't aware it opened the back of the it opens machine up. mystery. It even opens up with the roof on. But I think it's better when you take the roof off because you can see everything, and it's much brighter. In the cartoons, did it open? I am not sure. And here's the second build, and this is the tree monster, and we just stuck the zombie on top. But here, this is a sticker. 
where you got the eyes and the scary mouth of the tree monster. You like their green pimples. Oh, on the back there's a little control center. Yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah, that's why. So it's like a fake. You know how in all Scooby Doo oh. mysteries always a fakery? So I was wondering in the bottom, that's where you actually put the gem. Yes. I wonder if the gem is the source of the energy. I think so. You know, how I think that's it. Face? That makes sense. But yeah, this is the remote, and that makes the zombie a fake zombie, really, like in all of their cases. Yeah, Somebody because you can zombie. see there, you can see the buttons on the back of the head. Um, yes. Big T! Yeah? What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of the set is how the mystery machine can open. How? It opens. Oh! Ah! Do you like what's inside? It's okay. What else do you like about this set? I like how there's like a little tracking device on the monster here's back. Mmm. I like how it's like tracking the... And it's like a mix because the arms can move. I know. I'm a mix What about your favorite minifigure? I like the zombie. I like the new kind of green that he has. Do you know what kind of green that is? I don't even know. It looks like a sandy lime mi Sandy it lime green? It looks like it's in between a... Uh, Lime and normal green, sort of. Have you seen a Lego piece that color before? I don't think so. Me neither. <laughs> Little Buskis! What? What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of the set is how this opens. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Why? And there's a, and there's a hamburger, and there's a sink, and there's an oven. Oh, yeah. And there's a camera and a flash. Anything else you like? I like, uh... I like this mixel. The tree mixel? Yeah. And, and I like how uh, this the zombie could stand on it and like, oh, I want to hit you. Ah! What about your favorite minifigure? I like um this. The zombie? Yeah. Nice. Um, I My favorite part of the set would have to be the mystery machine itself. It's a great representation of what the actual mystery machine looks like in the cartoon. Very cool and groovy. And I like the minifigure of Fred, too. Oh. Even though his torso is kind of Simple, boring, but... But that's how he looks like. What's your favorite part? You already took my favorite part idea. My favorite part it. idea is the mystery machine. Okay, why? <laughs> because the colors are very cool, and I like the fact that it opens in the back, and it has more of a detail, not just on the outside, but also on the inside, so there's really more of an effort with this set to make it more playable. I don't even know what those things are. You think it's a cassette? I think it's a cassette. But what's a cassette? Ask the new generation. But I really like the color combinations and it's very true I think to form, although I don't really much remember it. But it's very, very colorful and I hope we never destroy it. This is okay too. If I were to rate this set, I would say it was display worthy. I'm gonna give it 8.2 out of 10. Sure.
So this concludes this episode of Playing with Lego. This is the Brick Adjuster with Brick, Trey, and Little Basket. Signing off. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in another video. Goodbye. Bye.